Hey guys, it's Kyle, and I'm explaining uh, Monday's workout. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, warm up. Now that you guys have done the, the newer uh, warm ups, the new uh, GITs. Uh, I'd like to see you guys start to get through that twice. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to get through this twice. Uh, remember, guys, there's more than two 15 pound bars in the corner. These are the ones right out of the rack. Um, you know, um, or out of the, the, the bar holders. Um, after warm up, we can go ahead and get started on snatch work. Today for snatch, you're gonna take it one inch off the ground, pause, and then finish your snatch. Really working on position work again, and just really strengthening your ability to stay in a good position all the way through your snatch. So. You're gonna go ahead and get set. You get your, your grip. You'll pick it up one inch off the floor. Pause. Then finish. Uh, I'm showing powers today. I got a little bit of a tweak in my back, so going into a full snatch for me uh, is gonna feel great. But ideally, you get to a heavy there uh, to where you're going into a full snatch. Um, just really. What that's doing, guys, is forcing you to keep that chest up and be patient getting to here before you hit that snatch. That's what that pause does, so you can't just yank it off the floor. So that's what we're working on there, is that position of staying, staying in a nice upright position with your chest all the way till you get to that top point, that position three, where you can snatch. After that, we're gonna do an EMOM today going to kind of build volume and give you some practice in a couple movements. Um, the first one is going to be snatch. Uh, I got some numbers up there. We're doing full snatches from the floor. Um, or, uh, I'm sorry, it's like a full pull. Uh, no hangs. Uh, unless coach says, you know, uh, it's okay for you to go from a hang. That's something my coach wants you to do. Then by all means, listen to your coach. Um, but we're going to do uh, snatches from the floor. On the first minute, make sure you just came all the way up, like I did. So, can you seven? On the first minute, second minute, you have toe to bars. So, we'll be here. Third minute, you can come back to your bar, and we're going to do. Uh, Burpee over bar, so we'll be here. That'd be two, three, four. On the third minute, then we'll cycle back through that. Back to snatches, back to the tota bars, back to the burpee over bar. Um, yeah, guys. We're just gonna try to build up some volume. That one got me a little out of breath. So, um, it should be good. If you cannot finish the reps in the minute, your imam will be over. Uh, remember in this imam, it is to build volume and practice the movements so you get better at them. Um, you can always have less and add reps every time but there's no taking away reps. So don't grab those high numbers. Uh, I think RX for toe to bar is 14. Um, you know, everyone should be able to do the seven uh, snatches. Um, so with the, uh, with the toe to bars and the burpees, you know, make sure you start with a lower number because if you pick that 14 and you can't hang on to it, your EMOM's gonna be over. The snatches, using that 70% of what you did today is a good guideline. Everyone should be able to do the seven snatches. Uh, no one should have to scale that unless they got something tweaky going on uh, with their shoulders or back or something like that. Um, if that's happening, be sure to let your coaches know. Uh, but for the tota bars and the burpees, if you need to scale those and add them as you go, um, go right ahead. So. This is kind of a longer one, guys. It's a little more drawn out, but you build some volume here in these movements, and uh, you should have fun. So, good luck.